What's up, everybody? Yay! Welcome back to me. Yes, because kung mapapansin ninyo, siguro mga ilang months din na uh, wala akong uh, YouTube entry, wala akong vlog, and well, mahabang story, pero I just chose not to post anything on YouTube. Pero, yun, nag-start naman tayo ng TikTok natin. So, if you have time, you can visit my TikTok account. I shared so many videos about courtship, about clarity, about love. Check out nyo rin ang TikTok natin. Ayan. For today's vlog, alam ko, very, very timely, lalo nyo during this season of pandemic. Some are asking, how do you do it? You know, you're a mom. Ang natin natin nila, how to be productive like what you do. Well, to be honest, it is all by the grace of God. Hindi ko rin alam paano ko nakakayanan yun. But of course, number one talaga is tag teaming with my husband. So, pag meron akong ginagawa, siya naman yung mag-aalaga. And pag may gagawin siya, ako naman yung mag-aalaga sa baby. But right now, I'm just so excited to share tips to make your work from home set up productive. Ayan. Well, I'll just give you some practical tips. I know marami pang tips tayo na maririnig. You would want to hear from me, but siguro ito yung pinaka-top ng mga bagay na ginawa ko. But I just wanna share first things first. I am a full-time life coach sa aming church slash pastor. I do TV hosting on the 700 Club Asia. I am also a full-time mom. Wala kaming helper. I'll share ko sa inyo kung paano ko na pagsasabay-sabay ang mga bagay-bagay sa mundong ito. Wow, okay. <laughs> okay, so how did I set up this work from home thing? So, well, it's a good thing kasi ang church namin considered talaga yung health namin and safety namin. They decided na all the missionaries, all the pastors will be working from home except if meron tayo mga live Sunday services or gigs na kailangan namin pumunta sa studios, doon lang kami nag-meet. But work, transactions, one-on-one -on -one are all online. These are the things na consider ko to help my work from home set up productive. And number one is at least set up your work from home corner. Well, hindi ko sasabihin na ano, kailangan mo magandang kang office sa bahay because alam ko kung gano'ng kahirap ang sitwasyon natin para bumili pa tayo ng napakamamahal ng mga gamit. At least, set up your own work from home corner. Hindi kailangan bongga, hindi kailangan mahal. But at least, you have your own corner wherein you can work there. Ako talaga, I cannot work inside my room because I have a baby and anytime sumasampa siya sa akin, maraming nagaganap talaga na talaga na talaga. Okay, so I decided to have my work from home set up outside my baby's room here. Okay, this one, I have this corner. Ito yung office ko, but I basically set this up like pumila ka naman kung ano-ano and then the frames and then this shelves. Good thing because it depends on you on how you would want it color, the design. Basta, make sure na yung setup mo hindi ka aantukin pag hindun ka. And you will be encouraged to do work when you are on that corner or that area or that office. Actually, I remember this corner was an empty space as in tambakan po ito before. But I just made use of this corner sa labas to ng room ng baby ko. Room namin ng mag-asawa. And ito po ang setup natin. Ayan. It depends on you if you want to be creative enough. So, again, depende sa budget. Hindi kailangan mahal. Basta yung lugar na yun, you know that you will be encouraged to work and hindi ka aantukin. Yun ang pinaka-importante. Second thing, our tip natin is have a checklist. It could be a notebook, calendar, or whiteboard wherein you can jot down the things that you need to do for the day. For me, I, what I have here is yeah, since this is my theme, ayan, I have here my weekly planner and then from Monday to Sunday, I plot the dates and what are my checklists for the day. So, I set up my top priority here. Kaya pag, for example, nilagay ko siya sa wall or dito sa gilid 
or dito sa corner ko, I can easily see kung ano yung mga dapat kong unahin at hindi mga dapat unahin. For example, um, nag-work ako and I get to be distracted with so many things. Meron akong titignan at babalikan a checklist or goal for the day para we can accomplish many things as we can. Nabili ko to sa National Bookstore. It's I think around 290 or 300. So, yeah. You can also have your uh, planner or your notebook with me. Sometimes I put up here my plans and my dreams. And dito siya. Yun. <laughs> so, it depends. It really depends on you. But the, the target is to keep track of all the things that you need to do for the day. And the number three is encourage yourself. Motivate yourself every day. So, through this motivation, you can use encouraging words or you can use verses, quotes that will help you get motivated to work. So, with me, what I have here is that. And this is my little corner here, the right side ko, where I post some of the verses na nababasa ko every day. I also have some here, the desk. And if you will see, I have here my monitor wherein my malaking word na nagsasabi, dream big. For me, it's really important that you encourage yourself. And so sa mga encouragement natin is literally, you can put encouraging words on your desktop, on your screen, on your walls, anywhere, so that you can be motivated all the time. Kasi syempre, when we are working, normal yun na mapapagod tayo, maridiscourage tayo, we'll feel this and that. But if you, you know, parang, oh, wow. Diba, kung nakita ko palang itong dream big na to, it's something colorful, it's my favorite color, and so it helps me it boosts my faith more and be reminded of those words and number four is of course you have to honor your break time and your rest day well this is something na very challenging pa sa akin because ang hirap talaga mag rest i experienced this a last week this super duper headache talaga na nadadala ng radiation because of too much computer use and sipi mo after ng computer mo mag work ka tapos pagbalik mo sa room mo mag cellphone ka pa so sobra talagang sumakit yung ulo ko to the point na hindi na ako nakatayo dun ko na realize na wait lang is there something wrong and i decided to change my reading glasses and yung glasses ko is nilagyan ko na rin ng anti radiation with the frame with grade yun after i did that Bumili ako nun, na-notice ko talaga na umukay yung pakiramdam ko. Na wala yung sakit ng ulo ko and I feel like my eyes are protected sa so computer and sa cellphone every time I use it. How your break time? Well, how I do this is that ang work ko is 9 to 5 p.m. for example. Ang ginagawa ko, I feel so tired for that moment. I rest. Literally, I go back to the room, I hug my baby and relax. Papatugtog ako ng relaxing music, mo-order ako ng something na gusto ko to help me. And Walang masama doon. Honor your break time. Kasi minsan, di ba, we feel guilty every time we take a rest, we take a break. But it's not. Dapat di tayo nag-guilty every time we do this because we deserve it. We have to balance everything. Again, balance work at home. If tapos na yung work, time's up na. Di ba? Put down your computer, put down all the work, and focus on your family. Important talaga yung break time. Siyempre, hindi talaga maiiwasan yung stress talaga na nadadala ng radiation, di ba? We really have to honor break time and rest. Next, number six is hygiene first. <laughs> Bakit ko nasabi to? Right now, kasi I'm here with my parents. First ECQ, second ECQ, kami lang sa bahay. And parang sabi ko lang, sa third ECQ, pwede ko sa parents muna tayo, sa parents ko muna para lang at least pag hindi natin kaya ba tayo sa Josiah, meron ko din tayo pag may makatong. And then, ay, gusto ko lang may meron kausap, maraming tao, and all. So, we decided to stay here. Ito, ito yun. Yun. One time when I went down, ipa ko na yung dito and it's breakfast time. Tapos, bigla na lang nasungitan ko yung kapatid ko kung bunso, okay? Yung lalaki na may nabunso. And for me, sabi ko, wait lang, sungitan ko siya. Well, nakakasungit naman talaga yung sinabi niya sa akin. Pero parang I felt like one of the reasons bakit yun ako na-trigger doon is because sobrang feeling ko ang lagkit-lagkit ko during that breakfast time. Tapos, init-init. And I realized, hindi ko pala ako naligo. 
<laughs> Doon ko na-realize na minsan totoo eh, kaya masakit yung ulo natin o minsan kaya tayo stress or minsan kaya tayo depressed. Ang sungit-sungit natin for that day kasi hindi ko pala tayo naliligo. And totoo yan eh, diba? pag inalagaan mo yung sarili mo, pag naligo ka, you feel refreshed, pag nag-ayos ka, you feel beautiful. And that sets the mood. And this is so true. Nahanasan ko talaga and sabi ko, it really makes sense. So, before you go to work, literally work from home, before you go to your corner, sana makonsider natin the hygiene first. Maliko, mag-toothbrush, uminom ng malamig na tubig if you can, or warm water, and do your skincare. Nakaligo ka na. You feel presentable, you're ready sa any meeting na patawag sa iyo ng boss mo for that day. And also, we can confidently turn on our cameras during Zoom meetings if we properly prepared or nakaliko tayo. And then number seven is do not procrastinate and be honest. Do your goals now. If you plot those goals today, make sure to finish them. Hit them with flying colors. Do not settle. Para bang, oh, bukas na lang, bukas na lang, bukas na lang since no. Do it now. At least. Please. Of course, do not cram. Minsan, di ba, para mag since work from home, parang sarap mag-cramming, ang sarap lang mag-chill. Pero, do your best. And, of course, be honest by means of, of course, hindi tayo nakikita ng mga bosses natin. Maganda na, we are really honest with the work. So, in Integrity really matters because if you have integrity, kahit walang nakakakita sa'yo, if you have integrity in your heart, you will just do the work. Number eight is do not give up. I know it's really hard, lalo na sa season natin. Ang hirap mag-transition. Walang nasanay na magtrabaho sa bahay. But, dadaan lang yung transition. Dadaan lang yung adjustment. And, good thing ngayon, nakapag-adjust na tayo lahat ako. I can say na, nakapag-adjust na ako. Sabi nga sa Galatians chapter 6 verse 9, sabi niya doon, So, let's not get tired of doing what is good at just the right time we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up so ang ganda ng verse na sinasabi sa atin na huwag tayong mapagod na gumawa ng tama huwag tayong mapagod gumawa ng mga fruitful na mga bagay kasi sa tamang oras sa tamang panahon lahat ng tinanim natin whether work from home ka or ngayon is back to normal ka sa sa office ka basta ginawa mo yung tama Tinanim mo yung tama, you will reap a harvest of blessing. If we do not give up, walang nag-give up na nakuha nila yung price. Walang nag-give up na nakuha nila yung promise lang. Lahat ng hindi nag-give up, they got that promise. Hindi man agad-agad, but at least makakapunta rin tayo sa ating pupuntahan. So, never ever give up and always pray and cling to God. Do the work, love it, enjoy it, and the rest will just follow. The pinakamaganda, that you seek God in everything that you do. So, unahin mo siya all throughout the day before you do the work and it will become so smooth, not perfect, but at least alam mo sa heart mo that you have peace and the Lord is just guiding you all the way. Ayan, so these are some tips. How do I balance things and how do I do work from home? I hope to marami tayong natutunan. Ayan, and these are just tips. Pwede ka pa mag-add and nasa sa'yo. Okay? I pray and I hope na lahat tayo will be able to do this work from home setup with flying colors. There you have it. It's application time. Don't forget to enjoy, honor, and maximize your season. Have a lovely day! Mwah!